For 15 years, a woman dedicated her life to caring for her son, whose paralysis transformed their routines into a journey of sacrifice and unconditional love. But when small signs of change began to emerge, her suspicion led her to install a camera in the house. Upon reviewing the footage, what she saw left her completely shocked, and everything was about to change. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. In the small inland town where Anna and Lorenzo lived, time seemed to flow differently. The tree-lined streets and houses with well-kept gardens created a welcoming atmosphere. But for 22-year-old Lorenzo, the outside world was just a distant memory. Since the accident that left him paralysed at the age of seven, his life had been confined to the four walls of his room. Anna, a middle-aged woman with brown hair speckled with grey strands, bore on her face the marks of exhaustion and concern. Her eyes, however, still shone with a mix of unconditional love and unwavering hope. Every day she cared for her son with a dedication bordering on sacrifice, always believing that one day things would change. Lorenzo, in turn, was an intelligent and sensitive young man. His dark brown eyes reflected a depth of thought that contrasted with his frail appearance. The black hair, always a bit too long, framed a pale face that rarely saw the light of the sun. Despite his physical condition, his mind was agile and curious, fueled by a voracious passion for books and knowledge. The daily routine in the house was almost mechanical. Anna would wake up early, prepare breakfast, and help Lorenzo with his morning hygiene. Then she would settle him in his wheelchair. It was there that Lorenzo spent most of his days, alternating between reading his favourite books and long periods of contemplative silence. The apartment they lived in was modest but cosy. Lorenzo's room was the heart of the home, decorated with shelves full of books and a large window overlooking the quiet street. It was through this window that Lorenzo watched the outside world, a silent spectator of the life that went on without him. Anna did her best to keep the spirits high, always talking with her son about various topics. However, Lorenzo's responses were increasingly short and disinterested. The depression that consumed him was almost palpable, filling the air with a dense sadness that even Anna's love couldn't completely dissipate. On lonely nights when Lorenzo finally fell asleep, Anna allowed herself to cry silently in the kitchen. The weight of the situation sometimes seemed unbearable, but she refused to give up. In her moments of greatest despair, she would kneel beside the bed and pray fervently, asking the heavens for a miracle, for a light that could guide them out of that emotional darkness. It was during one of those nights of prayer that Anna had an idea. Move house. Perhaps a new environment could bring about the change they so desperately needed. After weeks of searching, she found a single-storey house with a beautiful garden in a quiet neighbourhood. The move was difficult, but Anna hoped that this would be the fresh start they needed. The new house was welcoming, with spacious and well-lit rooms. The garden, although a little neglected, had the potential to become an oasis of tranquillity. Anna dedicated herself to tidying it up, planting colourful flowers and installing a small bench under a leafy tree. She dreamed of the day when Lorenzo would agree to spend some time outside. In the first few days after the move, Lorenzo seemed a bit more cheerful. The novelty of the environment and the different view from the window of his new room sparked a slight interest in him. Hopeful, Anna used this moment to suggest that he sunbathe by the window for a few minutes daily. After some resistance, Lorenzo agreed. This small victory filled Anna's heart with joy. She used to take morning walks around the neighbourhood, always leaving breakfast ready for Lorenzo before heading out. During these walks, she greeted the neighbours and observed the peaceful routine of the neighbourhood, feeling more and more at home in this new place. As the weeks went by, Anna noticed a subtle change in Lorenzo. He seemed more willing to talk, sharing thoughts and feelings that he had long kept to himself. This openness, however small, was like a ray of sunshine after a long winter for Anna. One day, to her surprise, Lorenzo mentioned the desire to try therapy, which he had previously staunchly refused. Anna could hardly believe what she was hearing. Excited by the change and finalising the last details in the new house, 
she decided to install discreet cameras around the house, concerned about security since they were new to the neighbourhood. A few weeks passed and Anna finally found time to review the recordings. What she saw left her in shock. Lorenzo was having animated conversations with some young people through the window. Intrigued and moved, Anna watched the footage closely. The recordings showed that during his morning walks, two young men regularly passed by Lorenzo's window. They wore work uniforms and, upon noticing Lorenzo, would start casual conversations about books, games and other topics he loved. In these interactions, Lorenzo seemed like a different person, sociable, lively and full of life. The next day, Anna decided to observe from a distance. Hidden behind a tree, she saw the young people approaching Lorenzo's window. The scene that unfolded before her eyes filled her with an indescribable emotion. Lorenzo was smiling, gesturing, and speaking with an enthusiasm she hadn't seen in years. That night, during dinner, Anna casually asked about the young people. Lorenzo, a little hesitant at first, revealed that they were neighbours who worked in a nearby shop. One day, as they passed by, they saw him through the window and started a conversation. Gradually, he began to feel more comfortable, and those interactions became part of his routine. Anna listened to everything with a heart overflowing with gratitude. Something she hadn't achieved in years of effort was happening naturally. The presence of those young people, the simple act of exchanging a few words, was giving Lorenzo the push he needed to reconnect with the world. In the days that followed, Anna subtly encouraged these interactions. She began leaving the window more open, placed fresh flowers on the windowsill, and even suggested that Lorenzo stay there a little longer in the mornings. Gradually, Lorenzo began to show interest in things other than those morning conversations. He asked Anna to bring magazines about the topics he discussed with the young people and even showed interest in learning something new on the computer. A few weeks later, Lorenzo surprised Anna with an unexpected request. He wanted to invite the young people for a visit. With her heart racing with excitement, Anna immediately agreed. She prepared the house with care making cookies and arranging the living room to welcome the guests. The day of the visit arrived, and the house was filled with an energy that hadn't been felt in a long time. Pedro and Rafael, the young neighbours, entered timidly, but soon felt comfortable with Anna's hospitality and Lorenzo's enthusiasm. The afternoon flew by with laughter, lively conversations, and plans for future meetings. That visit was a turning point. Lorenzo, who previously refused to leave the room, now asked to spend more time in the living room and even in the garden. Anna helped him settle on the bench under the tree where he could read and enjoy the fresh air. Over time, Lorenzo began to talk about resuming his studies. Anna, overjoyed, supported him every step of the way. She researched online courses and even looked into adaptive education options at nearby colleges. Meetings with Pedro and Rafael became regular, and gradually, other young people from the neighbourhood joined the group. Anna and Lorenzo's home became a gathering place for conversations, board games and even group study sessions. Lorenzo's transformation was evident. His posture was more upright, his eyes sparkled with a new purpose and he smiled much more frequently. He still faced difficult days, battling depression and physical limitations, but now he had a support system that extended beyond his devoted mother. Anna watched this change with a mix of joy and gratitude. On quiet nights, she still knelt to pray, but now her prayers were ones of thanks. The miracle she had long hoped for did not come in the form of an instant cure, but rather through small acts of kindness and genuine human connections. On Lorenzo's 23rd birthday, the house was full. Friends, neighbours, and even some of his new online teachers came to celebrate. Lorenzo, sitting in his wheelchair decorated with balloons, was the centre of attention, telling stories and laughing loudly. Anna, watching the scene from the corner of the room, felt tears of happiness rolling down her face. She thought about how life can change in unexpected ways. What began as a casual conversation through the window transformed into a network of support and friendship that brought her son back to life. That night, after everyone had left and the house returned to silence, Lorenzo called Anna over. 
With his voice choked with emotion, he said, Mom, thank you for never giving up on me. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm happy we're here now. Anna embraced her son, feeling that they had finally found the light at the end of the tunnel. She knew there would still be challenges ahead, but now they would face them together, with a new perspective and surrounded by friends. As she prepared for sleep, Anna looked out the window at the garden bathed in moonlight. The flowers she had planted months ago were now in full bloom, just like Lorenzo's life. She smiled, reflecting on how sometimes miracles happen, not in grand gestures but in small moments of connection and love. Anna and Lorenzo's journey was a testament to the power of perseverance, faith and the importance of human connections. They had gone through moments of deep darkness, but now they walked together under a sky full of stars, each one representing a new possibility, a new dream to be realised. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.